Don't you just love propaganda? Believe me when I say it. I'm in pain. Believe me when I say. And believe me when I say. My pain is real. You've heard that waking up early is rooted in white supremacy. You've heard that working hard is rooted in white supremacy. You've heard that pancake syrup is racist. But did you know that pain, pain is racist. Yes, that's right. Pain. I'm just reading the teleprompter as I'm supposed to. Are we sure that's right? Are we sure pain is racist? There's no way. There's literally no way people are buying this bullshit we're pushing anymore. It was hard enough to convince them that waking up early was rooted in white supremacy. How are we supposed to convince them that Advil is somehow racist? Alright, get a load of this. Advil just launched a campaign to achieve pain equity and end systematic pain racism. Those are real words coming out of my mouth. So here's the end cap at a local store. Three in four black people suffering from pain believe there is bias in how pain is treated. Mind you, this says three and four black people believe there is pain bias, okay? Four out of five first graders believe in Santa Claus too. Pain equity occurs when everyone can reach their full health potential. We commit to inspiring change by elevating stories and providing education. Together, we will address pain bias at the source. What the hell is this even supposed to mean? No, seriously, what is this literal woke propaganda even supposed to mean? I I'm legitimately, I'm at a loss for just how far this nonsense is going. It's been years of shit like, oh yeah, waking up early is racist. You know, you saw the, the news guy at the start of this clip. You know, everything is somehow racist or bias or systematically oppressive. And now, mind you, there's no data here. It's three and four black people believe, not are. Three and four black people believe there's bias. And I guarantee you the three out of four black people don't even know what the hell this is supposed to mean. Wherever they got this data from is skewed. So let's, let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. That didn't sound right. Goes? Did that sound right? All right, so here's the political ESG campaign to get more money in their pockets by manipulating society. All right, so true stories. In July 2023, seven members, seven, seven people, okay, of the black community, they found seven black people to talk about pain and equity. Not hundreds. No, let's not even go there. Not ten. Not even double-digit numbers. They found seven people who were like, you'll pay me to push this propaganda? <laughs> Where do I sign? All right, so anyways, they told these stories, and then they all felt that nobody believed that their pain was real or whatever. The systematic pain bias today. So they surveyed 2,000 total Americans, okay, about their experiences when seeking pain and treatment. The results from black individuals, okay, mind you, we don't know how many of these people were black. Okay, for all we know, there could have been like five total black people surveyed, not 2,000. So they surveyed 2,000 Americans. We don't know how quality the data was. And this is such a small group of people. The fact that they even call this data is it's shocking. You don't need to be an intellectual or be an expert in data science to realize that this is this is such a negligible and insufficient survey and way to collect data. The fact that they're running a whole campaign on this is simply pathetic. But let's look at the numbers here. 93% said pain has an impact on their day-to-day -day life. Oh, really? 93%? Yeah. Everybody's in a little bit of pain sometimes. Okay? Most people have a little bit of pain somewhere sometimes. Right? I, I got knee problems that I feel... Every once in a while when I push it a little bit, I shoot some hoops during my lunch break. Maybe I feel a little bit of pain in my knee. Also, what's defined as pain? Is it like, oh, it hurts a lot or, you know, everybody experiences something that's maybe not enjoyable every day. 
So what are, what are we defining for the parameters of pain? Some people might argue that it's kind of painful to simply get up out of bed every morning. Is that a reason to take Advil? Is, that, is it pain to the extent to which you'd be willing to take Advil? Okay, well, let's move on here. All right, next here, we have 74% said there is bias in how pain is diagnosed and treated. Mind you, these are people who are saying there's bias, and also they're not claiming where the bias is coming from. These people aren't saying that, oh, there's bias against black people. They're just saying that there is bias in how pain is diagnosed. That's it. That's all that their results are showing of the black people, of the 2,000 people interviewed, which could have been, again, 10, 15 total people used in the actual survey results. Let me just reiterate this. They're not claiming that there is bias, but some people think there might be. That's, that's what we're running an entire marketing campaign on to convince people that medicine is systematically oppressive towards, you know, black people and white people get unfair treatment towards their use of Advil. That's not really what they're arguing, but that's how it comes off. And this whole thing is propaganda and I'm upset and you should be too. The way that they're fudging the numbers here is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. And listen to this data point, and I'll explain why this data point doesn't make any sense either. 66% said their pain slash condition became worse or stayed the same after a negative experience with a healthcare professional. Okay, 66%. My first thing that comes to mind is three total people said that they saw a doctor and had a negative experience because that's the parameters here. We're working... That's how this thing works. Everybody gets surveyed, right? And then here's a couple of people that actually saw attention for the pain that they were receiving or the pain that they were feeling. And then of those, of those people that actually had that experience, it funnels down into people who had negative experiences, right? So let's say three total people. If you have a negative experience at a doctor's office, you're probably going to be having the same amount of pain or worse pain. Because that assumes that the doctors couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong with you, okay? And I'm not saying that that's a good thing or a bad thing. Or Sometimes it happens. Sometimes doctors don't know what's wrong. And maybe they might have thought it was negative. But what defines negative? What's the parameters here? Is a negative experience that the doctor couldn't help you? Because at which point the, the conclusion that they're coming to was probably the parameter that the survey was based off of. I mean, this is legitimate propaganda to run the whole campaign on the fact that pain is biased and they're saying that, oh, well, when the doctor can't figure out what's wrong with you, you might still be in pain. That's the effing conclusion we're coming to? I could have had a first grader come up with better survey questions to get you a better answer, but you know, they have to spin it this way. They have to come up with these non-questions, because these aren't even questions that they're coming up with. They're like, how do we fudge the numbers to convince a group of people to buy more of our product. We need to convince the dumbest people on the planet that Advil is aware that pain is racist. And it's not, so we have to make all of this up. This is legitimately infuriating. Uh, it, it really shouldn't be. You know, it should be easy enough for us to just be like, oh, propaganda, and then call it a day. But I am sick and tired, and you should be too, of companies shoving this woke propaganda down our throats. I mean, they just fucking open it up and they go, eh, let me just shove this down there. Here's some BS statistics from 2,000 Americans from which a smaller percentage, let's say 13% of Americans are black. Okay, 13%, maybe 14%. That's like under 300 people that are black that were actually in this survey that they surveyed. Under 300 people that were black. Most likely, let's say uh, for estimate's sake. And now you're going to go parading around that pain is racist? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> is this supposed to be a sick fucking joke? I am. <laughs> this is ludicrous. This is absolutely bonkers. You know, I usually buy the generic stuff anyways, like most normal people, why would you pay a premium on Advil? That just seems unnecessary. But in the future, I'm not going to go out of my way to buy Advil anymore. And it's not really a big deal. It's not like Advil's everywhere in the world. 
people probably take it too much, to be honest. And you see it places, and it's a pretty common name. People might say, let me take an Advil. It's kind of like, can I get a Coke? If you're in the South, Coke just means any kind of soda pop. But this is just sad. This is legitimately sad. And if you're believing this, if you, the viewer at home, if you're a woke leftist, and you're like, oh my God, Beans is such a bigot. Bigot Beans. The alliteration sounds great. Oh, bigot Beans. <laughs> if you're like, this guy, he's so racist, he doesn't understand the complexes of what it's like to have a little bit of extra melanin in your skin. That, that fact alone makes pain bias, and he doesn't understand societal structure. He, his little brain can't comprehend. Okay, if you're thinking all this to yourself, shove it up your ass. What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching the Daily Beans. Have a blessed day. Just released my first episode of the Red Beans podcast. It went pretty well, a little rough around the edges. It's about Illinois politics, how it relates to national politics. Over the next few months, we're going to have some uh, local elected officials, people who've run for office, people who are currently running for office. Did I say that? People who have run, currently running, people involved in local Illinois politics. They're Republicans, and you know most of them don't believe that Advil or pain is racist and neither should you if that interests you feel free to check it out links in the description and somewhere on my youtube channel it's called the red beans podcast red beans podcast have a blessed day